Hey, so this is going to be on the autosave function within Navisworks. I actually recently found this and didn't know it was a thing, but it works pretty smoothly. Um, I haven't tested it on very large projects, so really just play around with it and kind of see, you know, turn it on or off or change some of the settings to better uh, apply to your situation. So. This is just a NWF that I open in Navisworks Manage 2018. And if I come over here to the application menu, uh, this little drop down, I can see a options button, press that. And in the, uh, oh shoot, it's not the, inner, it's a uh, general. And then down here, there's the autosave button. We can see we've got some options like enable autosave. I think by default, this is actually turned off, but if we come in here and turn it on, we can uh, uh, specify a specific uh, uh, location. You know, for example, and I think this could work really well, is if you have a, a specific project that you're working on, you know, maybe browse out to that and use this uh, to um, save it in that location. You know, say if you're opening up one specific one for a long time, you know, maybe it's a big project and you don't plan on opening up a lot of others, this may be a good, good option for you. It depends really. Uh, what you're trying to do because you know I think that you might run into some issues when you're looking at your project folder and you know from project to project you may have your NWFs named the same thing so do be aware of that you know if you do if you do have that option to change your Navis uh, NWFs change them to something that you know uh, is different each project maybe a project number and you know uh, pick a location uh, you know, even a desktop, you know, just a desktop location is good, um, you know, if you're going to be working on a number of other projects. So, after you choose the location, you can manage disk, disk place, so it'll purge old autosaves, you know, so that you don't exceed a, a whole bunch. So, I upped this really far just to see, you know, what would happen if I just, you know, uh, set it to one minute and then... A, a max of 120 I just put random numbers in there but I have one here if I drill out and go into my oh Navis works actually here I'll do a control open or control copy or control C and then control V Enter. You can see I've been auto saving for some time. So this is pretty cool. If you're in a model, it will ignore the auto save if you don't do anything in there. So that's nice, and it's not repeatedly auto saving. Auto saving when you haven't done anything in the model. So until I get into it and start like moving around and and applying different properties and doing different stuff, it'll start auto saving. So it will stop if you if you leave. Um, the space this consumes, so this is three kilobytes. That's nice, but you know at the same time this this model is massively small, and uh, and I think the NWF still references your original NWCs because as long as nothing changes in the NWF or nothing changes in the NWC or because you're not you're not saving properties specifically to the NWC you're only viewing the information the NWF is really where you're trying to manipulate things so this should work and I think it works in the same way if you open up an NWD it kind of saves those out those files are a little bit lar larger so you may want to watch out if we get back out of here this is a nice option for if you have if you are saving you know to the to the uh, project folders you could set it up like this where it saves alongside the alongside the current file you may or may not want to do that because you could accumulate quite a bit in that file and it could be confusing for for users to get in there and see what they need um, so it's really dependent on your workflow I like it it doesn't interact too bad with my workflows so it'll auto save and I won't even notice it but you know this file is small so it may you know change when your file gets really large you may you know see you know for example if you ever use AutoCAD you would be using it and then when it hits the auto save point it would lag for for a few seconds and then you know get back in there so you may see something like that it all depends though with size so 
like I said before, here's your time. So, you know, right now it's set to one minute. Um, I definitely don't want that as the default, but maybe 15 minutes. That's kind of a default in Revit, or maybe, or I think it is. Well, maybe that's an hour. You know, whatever works for you, whatever you're comfortable with, change it. Maybe an hour is the best. And say we only want. 50 which I think is a good number especially for NWS they don't consume a lot of space but again you know if you, the larger the file the more space it's going to consume and more information that you have embedded in that NWF so play around kind of see what works best for you but um, this is the overall on how to use auto save and how to set it up so I hope it helps uh, please like share comment uh, subscribe if you haven't I really appreciate it thanks